in this video, we will explain what referencing is in eOffice, the different types of referencing and how it works. Now we will tell you what is referencing in eOffice refers to the process of linking or associating specific content within an e-file to other relevant files, correspondence or notes. This feature enables users to quickly access related documents, streamline workflows and enhance document organization by creating direct connections between interrelated records. This is the eOffice dashboard. Now click on the e-file application. Upon clicking, the file inbox screen will appear. Click on any file number and a new screen will appear. The right side of the screen contains the correspondence section and the left side contains the noting section. Now click on add green note. A new screen displaying the green note will appear. Click on the switch view button to open multiple windows in the noting portion and the corresponding portion. Now, let's see how referencing works in eOffice. Now, click on the hamburger menu and then click on the recent option to open the document. First referencing is noting to correspondence. In the green note section, write some content such as refer to page number 12. Select the written content. Click on the referencing button. A note reference pop-up will appear. In the correspondence section, enter the page number. And then click on the OK button. A green message successfully referenced will appear. The content is now converted into a hyperlink. Clicking on the hyperlink will directly open page number 12. At the same time, you can scroll here to view more pages. Second referencing is noting to noting. Now, click on the hamburger menu and then select the previous notes option. After this, a new screen will appear. Write content like refer page number 6. Select the content. Click on the referencing button. Click on the referencing button. A note reference pop-up will appear. Under the noting, enter the note number and then click on the OK button. A green message successfully referenced will appear. The content is now converted into a hyperlink. Clicking on the hyperlink will display the referred note. Third referencing is noting to paragraph. Write content like refer page number 4, paragraph 2. Select the content. Click on the referencing button. In the paragraphs field, choose the paragraph number. Click on the OK button. A green message successfully referenced will appear. Clicking on the hyperlink will highlight the referred paragraph in yellow. Fourth referencing is attachment. Click on the attachment button at the bottom of the screen and then select a document. Click on the open button. The document will now be attached. Only given type of document types can be attached. Now the fifth referencing is local reference. Click on the hamburger menu at the top right corner and then click on references. A new references screen will appear. Click on attach reference to see the types of documents that can be attached. Select a document and click open. A green message successfully added local reference will appear. If you have attached a wrong document and want to remove it, first select the document you want to remove. Then click on the action column and choose the delete button. After clicking on delete button, a delete confirmation pop-up will appear. Click on the yes button and then the document will be detached successfully. Apart from this, you can also attach KMS documents here. Click on the attach KMS docs button. And then the KMS document selecting dialog pop-up will appear. Select the required document and then click on the import button. Once done, a successfully added KMS reference message will appear on the screen. Now the sixth reference is link files. Click on link files in the menu bar. A new screen will appear. 
Click on the link button. Pop-up will show a list of files. Select the required file. Enter remarks in the remarks field. Click on the link button. After the clicking a message, successfully linked will appear. Now seventh referencing is attach files. Click on attach in the top menu bar. Select attach file. A list of files will be displayed. Select a file and enter the required remarks. Click on the attach button. A green message successfully attached will appear. Now let's understand the difference between link files and attach file. When you send a linked file to another person, they can only read it. However, if you send an attached file to someone and they detach it, then they can both read and write on that file. And now, let's talk about the advantages of using link file and attach file in eOffice. When you send a link file to someone, they can only read the file but cannot make any changes to it. The editing control remains with the sender, which reduces the risk of document misuse. As a result, the original file remains safe and unchanged. And when you send a file to someone as an attachment and the receiver detaches it, they can modify it and perform both read and write edit. This is useful when someone needs to make changes to the document. Now the eighth referencing is attach receipt. In the top menu bar, click on attach and then select the attach receipt option. A new screen will appear. Click on the attach receipt button. A list of available receipts will be displayed. Select the desired receipt, enter the mandatory remarks in the remarks field and then click on the attach button and then select the attach receipt option. After clicking, a successfully attached message will appear on the screen.